Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to present the finished pages that I've accomplished to do in the month of September 2022. Uh, only three books to show, only three pictures to show since I'm still in my coloring slum, but I try to um, keep on coloring, although on a slower pace than before, but I just try to maintain to make some progress in my books and to um, yeah try to hope for a new vibe a new pickup now i must say i've uh, almost every day or, or it, it, it is every day i've uh, i match it with my good friend coloring f and i must say when i see her pictures it's it gives me a boost but when i have to sit down i just feel tired and and yeah it's it's such a pity because she's really stimulating me and the stuff that she's been coloring wow um it's amazing and I, I i really wish i had her inspiration and drive but yeah so far unfortunately it's still a bit on the slower side but anyway i can show three pictures and i'm uh, happy with the three of them i must say um the three books are from different uh, uh, artists and so different jars so that's always nice i'm going to show the first one that i did in this month or in the past month and it's one in the adventures of pinocchio by fabiana atanasio she's one of my favorite artists i really like her style i don't like the filling of the pages or some of the patterns there are too busy like in her dress it was quite busy so I've painted um, her dress with some acrylic paint and went on top with stickles to give her quite a shiny dress and I decided to keep this page a bit plain and simple um, I did the background with um, distress oxide inks splashed water on uh, them and then I just moved my page around so that the water drops could flow in some direction as you can see and it gives a, a nice and playful effect and for the border I just uh, used some gold and bronzy based uh, paints and a bit some touches of purple and yeah brownish color yeah, i don't know it's yeah reddish brownish color i hope it's a bit visible and i did some accents with stickles i did some accents here with stickles as well uh, glitter gel pen was used for the stars and yeah i really like how her little face turned out with her blushy cheeks so it's quite a simple page but it's another one done in this book it can't um, compete with the one my absolute favorite one that i did a few months back uh, where did I write down the date? I can't find it. No, oh, it's in the bottom part here. I did this in February, in the, my favorite month to to speak out loud, <laughs> because I my tongue gets uh, a bit um, overstressed by pronouncing it. But uh, I, I really like this one. This is more simple, but yeah it, it, it was a nice one to do and an extra page done in this book so that's what counts and and not every page is from the same quality or gets the same um how can i say it emotion or um the, the cozy feeling or yeah the, the the input sometimes is different so and that's also returning or visual in 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 a coloring page i think so with geppetto it's really a cozy a cozy scene more cozy i think than uh the fairy 
within the window wish thing so yeah that was the first page now the second one is from the Muse's coloring book now this book is uh, buyable via Etsy but shipping to Belgium via Etsy is super expensive so uh, when I saw a video online um, from some colorists who mentioned that Aliexpress had the same book um, although I think the, the real one or the original one has a hard cover and this is a soft cover although it's quite sturdy it's a good quality book I've purchased it on uh, Aliexpress and I have to look up what I've paid for it but I think it was 14 or 15 euros shipping included so yeah that was uh, I, I didn't um, hesitate to order it over there it has been a few months since I have this book and in the front there are some um, examples of how you can color in the pages it's a very good book very good quality of the paper you can hear it and I decided to go for this picture but I made it my own um, style and this is what it has become so I really wanted to make her look a bit like an alien with a, a skin color I have to be careful now with my tripod with an unusual skin color so I've put on some um, turquoisey details on her skin I've added some stickles to yeah you you know I, I love the glitter and the shimmery stuff in my pages so I really wanted to give her a, a special and shimmery look uh, same with her hair she has colored in hair with Albrecht Dürer uh, water-based pencils but on top I've added some Paul Rubens paint which gives it a blue shine if I move my page around and then for the background I've used Neo colors too um, and I've splashed some white and golden paint on top for yeah a bit of a, a spacey look and off on, as a background there was a, a moon drawn and that's uh, the shimmery thing here of course so it's quite different from the example in the book itself but um, that's just a nice thing of coloring you can make them your own creatures you can give them your own life or your own vision on them and I wanted to make her a bit of an alien girl and I I'm very pleased with how she turned out I must say um, it took quite some time to decide what I would do with the hair at first I wasn't planning on doing a background but then I thought just her and the moon was a bit pale um, so that's when I went with the neos and uh, yeah I think it's uh, it's quite pink and purple but it suits and um, yeah I'm happy that uh, she turned out how she turned out and of course there's a the nice effect of all the glitter of the paints of the paints from the, the jewelry that she's wearing so yeah so that was this page oops I've bumped my camera I'm sorry and then the last picture that I did I just finished it this morning was in a million slots by Lulu Mayo um, a few months back I did this page and I really liked how poppy the, the leaves were um, at first I wasn't a big fan of how the page turned out but now since I did this also in February um, and I didn't look at it since but when I've opened uh, the book to 
take a look if there was something I would like to color this month. My eye catched this one and I was charmed but by how yeah colorful and, and um, bright and playful it was so I decided to do the neighbor page. Now this one is more uh, simple. I didn't do any details on the whales. I just painted them. I'm going to try and make everything quite good visible. I just painted them with some shimmering paint and made a contour with stickles. So these, the fishes are just very plain. I've added some um, glitter glue, not, not stickles, just a plain uh, brand of glitter glue for extra yeah, playful stuff. Um, I'm very happy with how the mushrooms turned out. Those were the objects I did as the last uh, elements. Um, they make the page pop, I think. It's quite pastel almost on the top, but I like how vibrant and bold the colors on the bottom are, so I think it's, it's quite a nice um, um, merge of softer colors and bolder colors. So, um, and I did outline my leaves again, but I've used another type of green than on this page. It doesn't have to be the same all the time. So, yeah, and of course, uh, the paint uh, is quite vivid. The eyes of the cat also have, are also done with the golden paint. You have some stickles here, some stickles on his little head, some gold paint here on the bottom as well. Um, so yeah, it's a, a quite a, a lovely and, and playful page with different elements to look at and yeah, that have some shimmer. Um, so yeah, and I, I think I've stayed with the yellow background or the yellow themed background because there's also some orange in here, some pink, some green. I just stayed with some yellow here just to make them match a little bit. They don't have to match necessarily, but I thought it was a nice idea to uh, to make them a bit similar, especially since I had some stains from doing this page here. And I thought, oh, well, then it's decided I will do some yellow as well on this one. So, um, yeah, I, I'm feeling that I have issues with doing a lot of details. So I was surprised that I had the courage to do this page because, yeah, you have, uh, of course, all the slots to do and, and the leaves, the mushrooms, the bunnies. Um, but yeah, step by step, I've, I've managed to do so. Not doing a lot of details was also the reason that I chose the lady in this book, because it was just a face to do and a moon. But um, yeah, I, I, I really must take a look in my shelves again um, and, and see which books are doable, don't have too much details because that's what's blocking me now a bit uh, or is discouraging a bit. Um, yeah, I, I really want to create nice pictures, but not with a, too much effort or too much time, not too time consuming. Um, but yeah, as long as I keep on coloring, I'm happy. I use my materials. They, I'm still very happy with all my pencils, with my paints, the stickles. I still love it all. So um, yeah, as long as I keep on coloring, I'm happy. Although uh, I would have wished to show you some more, but three is better than none. Um, so yeah, I um, I really hope you've liked what you've seen so far. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the description. No, not in the description box, in the comment box below. Um, and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. So for now, I wish you all a very lovely day and I hope I will see you soon in a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.